ABC Sports presents College Football Today. This afternoon from Dope Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida, it's the Hurricanes of Miami versus the Florida State Seminoles. Welcome back to Tallahassee, Florida and Dope Campbell Stadium, where the Miami Hurricanes and the Florida State Seminoles, ranked 13th and 14th by the Associated Press this week, are meeting in this big interstate rivalry. A sellout crowd on hand and perfect weather for football. Miami has won the toss and they have elected to receive. And you're looking at Mike Rendina, or you were, number seven, who is their freshman kicker. Mark Rush, 49, is back deep to receive, along with number 14, James Boone, and number 16, Albert Bentley. Rendina, a freshman from Pompano Beach, Florida. Line drive shot that will carry into the end zone. Mark Rush, number 49, bringing it out. And Rush is across the 20-yard line before he's tripped up with Jim Kelly, number 12, starting at quarterback out of East Brady, Pennsylvania. Chris Hobbs, number 33, will be the fullback, and you will see a number of running backs, including 46, Smokey Roan, for Miami. Larry Brodsky at one wide out, number 43, and Mike Rodriguez, the former quarterback, number six, is the other wide receiver. First and 10, Miami. The ball just inside their own 22, and Kelly will put it up. A screen pass complete to Chris Hobbs. Hobbs is in trouble. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Offensively up front, Glenn Dennison, number 86, is the tight end. Bill Welch, number 63, will be the right offensive tackle. Mike Moore, the right guard, number 50. Don Bailey, number 61, is at center. We'll give you the other two linemen in a minute. Second down and 10, still at the 22. Smokey Roan, out to the 24-yard line, and that is it. As you look at McLean, Futch, Gilbert, Carricker, and Corsi, the five up front in the 50 defensive alignment. Third down, seven from the 24. Lots of time for Kelly. Intended for Rodriguez. It was too tall. Incomplete. Tracy Ashley defending on the play. As ten men are on the line for Florida State, and they're coming. LaBelle kicks a high and relatively short kick. Jones does not call for the fair catch and is nailed. Rick Stockstill, number 11, the senior from Fernandina Beach, Florida, leads him up and gives him. No, he has it on the option. Rolling and keeping. Picking up about five yards to the 45 before he slides out of bounds. I really thought Allen had the football, and so did a lot of people, including many of the Miami defenders. Again, Stockstill faking to Allen and throwing. And it's complete at the 37-yard line of Miami. First and 10, Florida State. The pass again is complete. Stock still getting short yardage down to about the 33-yard line. Stock still the quarterback from Fernandina Beach. In the backfield with him, 27, Michael Whiting, who in fact has caught more passes than anybody on the team. And Greg Allen, the freshman sensation out of Milton, Florida. Dennis McKinnon, who caught that pass at one wide receiver. Phil Williams, 87, is the other. Allen's first carry of the afternoon, and he'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. Zeke Moat is starting at tight end. They will alternate. Barry Voltapelli at one offensive tackle. Ricky Render at the right offensive guard. The center is Tom McCormick. As on second down, the pass is complete to number 84, Sam Childers, the tight end, who is very near the first down marker. It is now fourth down and just inches to go, as Childers was very close to the marker, but not close enough. From the 28-yard line of Miami, fourth and about six inches. Allen almost fumbled the football. He has the first down, however, as he gets to the 22 of Miami. David Jefferson, 37 on the tackle for the Hurricane defense. First and 10 from the 22 of Miami, Allen again. Inside the 15 to the 13-yard line, 90, Tim Flanagan. This is Florida State. From the 12-yard line, second down, one yard to go. He can scramble, and when you can scramble like that, move away from the rush, and I was watching the wide receiver, he got... He and now, Rendina is on to attempt the extra point. It's blocked. Blocked by Miami. The extra point is no good. It is six to nothing in favor of Florida State with 10-39 remaining in the first quarter of play. We'll return to Tallahassee in just a minute. Rendina sent to kick off. Mark Rush again, the deep back. A line drive that Rush will take about three yards deep and not return. First and 10, Miami at their own 20. Smokey Roan. Right at the line of scrimmage, may have even lost the yard as the Seminole defense... 
Second down, ten and a half yards to go. Kelly to Rodriguez. It's complete at the 25 and out of bounds. Natives of this city, Florida State, is located. Third down, five. Miami at their own 25. It's complete to Roan, and Roan has the first down and pounds his way out to the 35. They got hit the short man underneath. The Florida State defense, as you look at them there. Third and five. And it's complete and should be enough for the first down. Chris Hobbs, number 33, making the reception. And then they, then they don't miss him that way. I believe I said it was enough for the first down. It is not. It is second and five. Smokey Roan trying to get outside. Tripped up and knocked down after a gain of one. It is third down and four yards to go. Miami is their own 41. Florida State leading six to nothing here in the first quarter. Complete for the first down to Smokey Roan once again. And Roan is to the 49 of Miami. That's the second first down for Miami today. A little bit of preliminary movement by Gilbert, the nose guard. Flags are down as Mark, Mark Rush carries the And you see the indication, offside. Their first venture into Florida State territory today. Lots of time. And complete over the middle to number 20, Rocky Belk, a junior wide receiver. Kelly now six out of seven passing for 50 yards. First and 10 Miami from the 25 of Florida State. And Kelly... Intended for Brodsky is incomplete. Second down, 10. Flipping it out of the backfield to Mark Rush. Rush gets a block on the corner and gets a couple of yards as he gets out near the first down. It is third down, about a yard and a half to go. Miami at the 16 and a half of Florida State. Mark Rush does not get it. They have charged Miami with a timeout. So it was a Miami timeout. It is still fourth down, less than a hard yard to go, outside the 15 of Florida State. Quarterback sneak, Kelly appears to have enough. They'll mark it near the 14. And first and 10, Miami. Now from the Florida State 15. Chris Hobbs. Tripped over his own man and is knocked down by number 60, Scott McLean. It's second down, still about 10 yards to go. The blitz is on. Gilbert has Kelly and dumps him, but Kelly got the ball off in time, and it's incomplete. It is now third down and 10, just inside the Florida State 15. The pitch back to Mark Rush. Rush trying to cut it up flat. Inside does not get back to the original line of scrimmage. May have lost about a half a yard. Number one, Dan Miller, who is a senior out of Lewiston, Florida, and their place kicker is on to attempt a field goal. He's 13 out of 18 this season. It'll be from the 22, which will make it a 32-yard attempt. And it's good. Dan Miller with a 32-yard field goal has put Miami on the board with four minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the first quarter. It is now Florida State six and Miami three. For the two up backs. Miller kicks it into the end zone. Billy Allen tries to field it, cannot. It rolls out of the back of the end zone. First and 10, Seminoles at their own 20. Stock still faking. Now they close in on him as time runs out. 73, Lester Williams. Miami's front three are uh, really the strength of their defense. Second down, 17 yards to go. Mike Whiting, the fullback, getting it out across the 15, getting back some of the yardage. Third down and 14. Stocks still with good protection. And it is incomplete. Two Miami defenders are there. The crowd doesn't like it. 44.4 yards per kick this year. We'll punt it away. Lawrence Thompson, number 22, is deep. And that kick will bound on about the 45 and go out of bounds in Miami territory. Well, that's a regular feature here. First and 10. Miami at their own 44. It's complete to Mark Rush out of the backfield. And Rush is into Florida State territory. And it picks up about nine yards. Second down, one yard to go. Kelly to throw again. Firing it over the middle, complete to Rodrigue at the 25-yard line of Florida State. Another first down for Miami, and it's in a first down at the Florida State 25. And it's complete to his tight end, number 86, Glenn Dennison, and Dennison struggles forward for yardage. On second down and three, Smokey Roan falling forward. 
which is important if you're going to play that deep behind the defensive line. On third down and one, Kelly to pass. It's batted down by Jarvis Corsi. Number 64, Jarvis Corsi batting that one down as Miami will go for it on fourth and one from the 16 of Florida State. Speedy Neal in at fullback, and he'll be very close. Robert Speedy Neal was pushed backward. Hester weighs 220. Robert Speedy Neal, the fullback, weighs 250. First and 10, Miami from the 15-yard line. Tipped and incomplete intended for Rodri. Second down and 10. Kelly to pass once again. Flipping it over the middle to the middle screen. Speedy Neal, the fullback. Neal running hard down to the five-yard line. He'll be short of the first down by about a half a yard. And that is the end of the first quarter of play. They'll have to move all the way down to the other end of the field. And as we'll return for the second 15 minutes of action here at Doak Campbell Stadium, it is 6-3, Florida State over Miami. Steve Zabriskie, along with Pepper Rogers, as now on third down and goal, or rather one half yard to go, Jim Kelly with a quarterback sneak may be very close. Speedy Neal and Mark Rush are in the backfield behind Kelly. It is Rush. Rush diving for perhaps a yard to the three-yard line is all. Gibbs as they bring Smokey Rowan, 46, in at halfback, along with Robert Speedy Neal at fullback. Neal diving very close. And again, you saw number 83, Ron Hester, there to make the tackle for Florida State. Third and goal. Kelly trying to sneak it. He won't go anywhere. He is really stacked up. James Harris, exciting moment. They lost about a half yard. It's back to the one yard line. Fourth and goal from the one. Rush diving, touchdown. Mark Rush at 6'3 and 210, diving over the pile for a Miami touchdown. The punter Greg LaBelle holding. And it's perfect. Miller now 12 out of 12 for extra points this season. 12 minutes and 46 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Miami has come back to take the lead. It is 10-6 over Florida State. 31, Billy Allen, along with Mike Fighting and Cedric Jones. Miller's pick, heading for the end zone again. And Billy Allen will not return it. Faking to Allen. Stock still rolling. Gets a block. Fires. Incomplete, out of bounds. Second and ten. Pitch to Allen. The reverse. Coming around is Cedric Jones. Cedric has a blocker, splits the defenders, and gets out to about the 28. Second down, two yards to go. Stock still firing on third and two. It was, and it's complete. Number 87, Phil Williams. Senior wide receiver on first and ten. Penalty marker is down. As carrying the ball is number 20, Ken Burnett, who throws the halfback pass. And it's complete at the 34-yard line of Miami. Bill Williams again. Bad motion by the red. First down. It is now first down and 15 yards to go. Stock still gives to Whiting on a delay. Whiting with a good hole and gets out to the 40-yard line. Second down, four yards to go. Stock still eluding the pressure. The ball is tipped and incomplete. Third down and four. Florida State at their own 40. Stock still. Plenty of time. In and out of the hands of Phil Williams and incomplete. Fred Marion blasted him. Mentioned earlier, one of the top hunters in the nation takes the bounding snap and gets it away. And it's a beauty. Thompson back at the 10. Fumbles. Florida State recovers. That's athletic ability by the... Florida State football team. I mean, that was some play. It is first and 10 from the 11 and a half yard line of Miami. Jones. Greg Jones will lose about a yard. Good defense by the Great Miami down. Hurricanes. Number. It is second down and 11 as Allen lost a yard. Stock still throwing into the end zone for Dennis McKinnon incomplete. Fast, Whiting and Allen are still in the backfield behind Stock still. Faking. Into the end zone again. McKinnon has it, but he was out of bounds. Freshman Mike Rendina, who is 8 of 11 in field goals, is on. Bad snap. He got the hole down. It's blocked and picked up by a Florida State player who's trying to run it in, but he does not pick up enough for the first down. 
So you just can't do that and win big ball games like this. No, and they've been having problems with that off and on all season. First and 10 Miami from their own 18-yard line. They lead 10 to 6. Intended for Rodriguez, intercepted. Picked off by number 30, Larry Harris. And Harris brings it back inside the 40-yard line of Miami. He finally got one. Quarterback Jim Kelly. First and 10, Florida State. Whiting getting it inside the 35. From Miami 33. Miami leading 10 to 6 here in the second quarter. Allen stacked up short of the 30. They'll mark it at the 31. Allen again. Has the first down. Carries tacklers inside the 20. Fumbles. But they're going to say he was down at the 15. Allen, a 185-pound freshman who has rewrote the freshman running back record book in the last couple of weeks. Stocksdale completes it to Zeke Moat, the tight end, and Moat is inside the 10-yard line. Rodney Bellinger knocks him down, to say the least. It was close. Second down, four yards to go. Allen again, trying to get outside. He'll lose a yard back to the 10-yard line. Baking to Allen this time. Stocksdale looking to throw on third down into the end zone. Out of bounds and incomplete. The catch was made by Phil Williams, but he was out of bounds. The holder is Kelly Lowry, a reserve quarterback, and this time the snap is good. Kick, however, is a fake, and Lowry is throwing the pass. It is complete, and a first down inside the Miami five-yard line. It was a fake. I think... Uh, it's a great looking play. The kicker acts like he's going to kick the ball. He's throwing a couple of vicious blocks there. <laughs> we have a throw to the up back of the tight end. Now he's down to about the three yard line. And the thing that's amazing about this. First and goal, Florida State. They are trailing and they are threatening as Greg Allen pounds down near the goal line. Touchdown! Great second effort by freshman Greg Allen for a Florida State touchdown run from the three yard line. Football when he kept surging forward. This time they kick the football. The extra point is good as the freshman Rantina makes it 13 to 10 in favor of Florida State. A seesaw battle here in Tallahassee this afternoon. A close football game is what we'd expected, and that's what we're getting. In favor of Florida State. Rantina will kick off. Mark Rush is deep to receive for Miami. Will not be rushed, however. It will be James Boone, number 14, who takes it and breaks it up the far sideline and gets it across. But first and 10, Miami. They mark it at the 26-yard line. Chris Hobbs breaks the tackle and gets out of bounds. Doesn't gain much, however. Well, he'll get some. I'm really impressed with his play. the junior from East Brady, Pennsylvania, firing it and completing it to his tight end, number 86, Glenn Dennison. And, and he drilled it right in there. There you see Kelly's statistics so far today. Passing again on first and ten. And completes it a rush coming out of the backfield, and Rush is up to the 45 for a gain of seven. Second down. Three yards to go. Stacked up in the middle. Third down, a yard and a half to go. Hobbs the ball carrier, and he will be short for this on fourth down, Steve. I think that uh, seesaw battle. And now the Florida State faithful come to their feet on fourth and a foot. Kelly on the quarterback sneak. Very close. First down indicates referee Tommy Miller. First down for Miami today at their own 49, first and 10. Kelly with good protection. Firing it deep. Into the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Brodsky as Brodsky was second and 10. Miami at their own 49. pressure dumping it off on the screen to Speedy Neal and he's trapped in the backfield. Ron Hester number 83. Back inside the 45 at the 44. On third down. Kelly firing over the middle almost intercepted and knocked down by James Harris number 33. Almost has it blocked. Jones takes it at the 14 yard line trying to get to the outside. Gets a block. Breaks one tackle. 
Still on his feet at the 30 and knocked down there. Big day on ABC for all the teams in the state of Florida. On first down, in Illinois leading Michigan in the first quarter. Jones in leading North Carolina. Second down and five, the reverse to Jones. Cedric trying to get a block and get outside. Almost has the first down, but Tim Flanagan. Well, and adapted into the college game. It, it's, it's a good looking offense. Third and one, Florida State. Whiting, the fullback, appears to have enough for the first down as he leaps over the line. First and ten, Florida State at their own 41. Baking, stock still under pressure, and he'll be sacked. Did he get the ball off in time? Incomplete. It is second down and ten. The clock with 41 seconds remaining in the half. is blocking, getting across the 45 to the 46. He'll put the ball up here this time. Maybe he'll take a chance on a long pass or something. Third and five. Stock still gives to Greg Allen. And Allen has enough for the first down. Breaks one tackle and gets out of bounds in Miami territory at the Miami 44. I have to agree. This is obviously barring a penalty, the final play of the half. And Stock still with plenty of time steps up. Now he's going to have to run it. And he slides down at the 40 as time runs out. Everybody was covered. And Stockstill could not get the pass away. The end of the first half with Florida State leading Miami 13 to 10. We'll be back with today's halftime activities after this message about an upcoming show on ABC as well as a word from our local station. When you see good backs, they all look locked sometimes because they really have it. Billy Allen will take it, and he will be about three yards deep, as well as some other folks, which we'll catch in a moment. First and 10 from the 20, Mike Whiting, the fullback. And Whiting gets about five to the 25-yard line before he's finally hauled down. Second down, five yards to go. Florida State at their own 25. They lead Miami 13-10 as we begin the second half. Allen, running hard, has the first down at the 31. And Freddie Marion, 31, is the free safety. The pass is complete. Dennis McKinnon. And McKinnon is up near the 40-yard line. The big guys up front. Second down, two yards to go. Whiting gets across the 40. And As they are right now, they've gone the unbalanced line. Allen gets away from one defender in the backfield, but he will go nowhere. Finally wrapped up by Jamie Boone, number 14, 54 yards. Last time on a bad snap, gets a good snap, and booms it again. Boone is going inside the 10, back to the six-yard line. Good coverage by Florida State at the 11. Following a 55-yard punt by Ron Stark, Miami first and 10 at the own 11-yard line. Smokey Roan, the ball carrier, and Roan is knocked down at the 12. Second down nine, Kelly looking to throw. Completes it to his tight end, number 86, Glenn Dennison. And Dennison struggles out close to the 20-yard line. On third down, Speedy Neal banging forward and has the first down. Ten and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Florida State 13, Miami 10. Kelly with lots of time. Can't find anybody open. And he's dragged down. Number 60, Scott McLean. The 18-yard line. It is second down and 10. Kelly to throw once again. Plenty of time. And completes it to Rodrique. And Rodrique has a first down. And is out of bounds. And another first down for Miami. They're on 41 and a half. Pitch back to Smokey Rome. And Lorenzo breaks one tackle and gets across the 45. From where they mark the football, it's really close to the second down and six. Just across the 45. Kelly firing it to Chris Hobbs out of the backfield. Incomplete. Jarvis Corsi, third and six at the 45 and a half of Miami. Complete to Brodsky for the first down as Brodsky has it in Florida State territory. That was Brodsky's first reception of the afternoon. First and ten from the Florida State 41. Incomplete. Miami on second down and ten. The draw play to Lorenzo Smokey Roan, and he goes nowhere. Well, he's big enough to stop him. Right? I'll say. Third and nine from the Florida State 40. Incomplete intended for Rocky Belt. They are marking the football at the 47. It will be a 57-yard field goal attempt. Just a slight breeze blowing at his back. It's a low line drive shot. A 
enough distance. It's good. Surprised me, but he did kick a 56 yard against the Florida, I believe, in the opening game of the season. That's a great kick, Steve. A 57 yarder. He could have made that probably from 67 yards. 7.38 to go in the third quarter. We're tied. 13 all. But the new Miami record of 57 yards. Miller will kick off. Billy Allen, 31, is deep, along with Cedric Allen and Mike Whiting. And this one goes clear past the end line before it hits the ground. I think about seven and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Stock still faking and retreating to throw, setting up the screen intended for Whiting, and it was no good. They'll have to run it in slides down and out of bounds after gaining about four to the 24. It's third down and a long five to go. it over the middle of Whiting. He has the first down and open field. He's into the midfield area. Fumbles the football, but they say he was down at the 44. On first and 10, Allen, and he will lose perhaps a half a yard. Greg Allen, the 185-pound freshman out of Milton, Florida. Starts to the pass. Firing it to the near sideline. Incomplete, intended for Tony Johnson. The ball still at the Florida State 43-and-a-half yard line. Pressure again. Stockstill gets it off. Almost intercepted. Fred Marion, number 31. Number 14 is deep to receive for Miami. Stark gets it away under some pressure. Booms another one heading for the near sideline. Bounds on about the 17. And out of bounds at the 11. Buffalo and Dallas on Monday Night Football this week here on ABC. First and 10 from the 11. Kelly throwing it long. Incomplete. Intended for Rocky Belk on the near sideline. Completing it to Rocky Belk. Belk breaking one tackle, cuts inside and gets to the 31 or two. Kelly now 17 of 29 for 169 yards. Firing again. Incomplete intended for Dennison, the tight end, who could not. Second down and 10 from the 31 and a half of Miami. Incomplete intended for Rush coming out of the backfield. Third down and 10 from the 31 and a half of Miami. Kelly with lots of time, firing it over the middle, completes it to Brodsky. Brodsky has the first down as he's into Florida State territory at the 48 yard line. Miami first and 10 from the Florida State 48. Complete to Brodsky again, and Brodsky is inside the 40. It's another Miami first down. Pressure gets it off. Incomplete. It was intended for Rocky Belt. Second and ten from the Florida State 37. In and out of the hands of Rod Reek. We're in the third quarter, tied at 13. They make the draw to Hawk. And he's back. Number 90, Allendale Campbell, and number 76, Alfonso. Ryan drives at Jones, picks off at the 15. He's tripped up. Uh, and Florida will be ready for them. On first and 10. Stock still firing it. And it was incomplete. Florida State from their own 23 on second and 10. Greg Allen. Allen has a hole. 78 yards and 15 carries. The pitch back to Allen. Hurdles one defender and gets to midfield. A gain of eight. Second down, two yards to go. Florida State at, fifth, at the 50-yard line. Allen trying to get the first down. May have fumbled the football. They say he was down. Third down and one. Miami 6 of 12 on third down conversions. And Whiting is stacked up very, very close. Uh, obviously, this is a realistic uh, request. I don't think it's a first down, but it's certainly close enough to measure. In the third quarter, the crowd comes to its feet as we are tied 13-13. Stock still sneaking. And from our vantage point, he appears to have more than enough for the first down. It is first and 10 for the state of Miami 48. Stock still the pass. He 
completes it to Zeke Moat, the tight end, and Moat breaks one tackle, finally wrapped up by Rodney Bellinger, number four. That's the end of the third quarter with the score tied between Florida State and Miami. NCAA college football will continue after this commercial message as well as a word from our local station. We're tied at 13, 15 minutes to go. The final 15 minutes and Florida State on the move in Miami territory. Third and one. Allen again has the first down to the 32-yard line of Florida State, or rather Miami. You can see Allen is very near the 100-yard mark. Stock still on first and 10, gets hit as he unloads it deep. Incomplete intended for Phil Williams, who is running to the flag. Second down, 10 yards to go from the Miami 32. The sprint draw to Allen, breaks one tackle in the backfield and picks up about five. Allen now has carried 20 times for exactly 100 yards. Third down, Mike Whiting sweeping to the left, cutting it back up inside. On fourth and five, Mike Rendina, the freshman, is in. It'll be a 44-yard attempt. It's blocked. And recovered by Florida State. Rendina is on the football. The kicker, Mike Rendina, has it back around the 44-yard line of Miami. But Miami blocked it at Greg Brown, number 93, breaking through from defensive tackle. It is first and 10, Miami, from their own 44. Kelly firing it to Rodriguez. Incomplete, a little bit overthrown. But they are here to throw the football, and that's what they're doing here in the fourth quarter as well. Kelly gets it off. Speedy Neal out of the backfield has the first down. He's into Florida State territory, breaks the tackle, and gets inside the 25. His mother was in labor for a very short time. On first and 10. Smokey Roan, we're tied at 13. Good protection over the middle, completes it to Rocky Belk, and Belk is down at the six-yard line. Kelly now 21 of 38 for 250 yards. First and goal from the six. Smokey Roan to the outside, touchdown! <laughs> 86, Glenn Dennison, the tight end, with a big block on the corner, and Smokey Roan, Lorenzo. Smokey Roan takes it in from six yards out. LaBelle puts it down. And it's good. We have 10 minutes and 47 seconds now remaining in the football game. Miami has come storming back on another impressive drive, and the Hurricanes have taken the lead. They've broken the 13-13 tie. They now lead 20-13 over Florida State. As Miami has taken a 20-13 lead, Dan Miller kicks it off. Billy Allen is back deep to receive, and Allen will take it one yard deep in the end zone. Looking for a wedge, and he gets it out to about the 19 or 20 is all. First and 10, Florida State at the own 19. Stock still pumping. Lofting one down the sideline, intended for Dennis McKinnon, an incomplete. Fred Marion was defending a shot. On second down and 10. Stock still with good protection, fires in the middle, it's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by number 17, Ronnie Lippett. And Lippett returns it inside the 25-yard line of Florida State with a big interception. First and 10. Miami, Smokey Roan, cutting it up inside and getting a couple of yards from the... And Kelly, who has been outstanding, throwing the football, leads him up on second down and eight. Speedy Neal, trying to find an opening. He cannot. Number 38, Ken Rowe. Third down, eight yards to go. Kelly... Firing it to Neal out of the backfield, first down. Neal breaks the tackle, touchdown! You have to give Kelly a lot of credit. He picked him uh, out as an open receiver, but you have to give Speedy Neal a big plus there. And it's good. And again, Miller remains perfect on the year. He has yet to miss one. Miami capitalizes on a big turnover, an interception by Ronnie Lippett, and they're threatening to blow it open. With 8.54 remaining, it's 27-13, Miami over Florida State. And a big, big play that has given Miami a 27-13 lead here with 8.54 remaining. Miller kicks it off. 
Cedric Jones will take it at the eight yard line and cannot. Now he's going to throw a pass. Flips the ball out. It's Greg Allen. Allen has one man to beat. Hauled down at the 35 yard line of Miami. That is one of the great plays from this part of the country. First and 10 Florida State just outside the 35 of Miami. Stockstill with a deep retreat over the middle incomplete. Picked up by the tight end Zeke Moat. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver and Zeke Moat the tight end takes it down to the 16 yard line. Down the sideline for a first down for Marin Tackleton. Greg Allen the ball carrier trapped in the backfield breaking through. Second and 12 Florida State trailing 27 to 13 here in the fourth quarter. Penalty marker is down. Greg Allen cutting it up inside, getting inside the 10-yard line. It appeared as if Miami jumped offside. Florida State is coming back. Allen again, the ball carrier. Struggling for yardage, very near the first down yardage as he needed to cross the six-yard line. Not only is he a good pass defender, but he's a good tackler. What do you think they'll go for it here, Steve? What do you think? <laughs> They trail by 14 with 6 minutes 50 seconds now remaining in the game. Stock still to throw. Complete to Childers in the end zone. Touchdown. Great play. Great call, but a great catch. Senior tight end Sam Childers from right here in Tallahassee. No. Childers, Childers. Florida State team. going for two. Stock still faking. Looking for somebody. Firing in the end zone. Incomplete. Knocked down by number four, Rodney Bellinger. The pass was intended for Dennis McKinnon in the end zone. So with 6.46 remaining in the game, Florida State has come back. They do not get the conversion, however. It's 27 to 19. Number 20, Rocky Belk is back deep as they're expecting an onside kick, but they do not get it. Rendina kicks it to Belk at the five-yard line. Nice move by Rocky Belk. He has an open field and only the kicker to beat. And Rendina makes the tackle and rides him out of bounds. This first and ten. The pitch back to Smokey Rome. Slips down as he gets into Florida State territory near the 47. Kelly with good protection. Over the middle incomplete is intended receiver Rocky Belt. Third and seven. Chris Hobbs, the ball carrier on a delay, has the first down and is down to the 36-yard line of Florida State. Chris Hobbs is also from right here in Tallahassee. Hobbs again, the ball carrier, gets around the corner and picks up three or four. Mark Rush, the tailback, diving but short of the first down. Third down, less than a yard to go. Speedy Neal diving near the 35 appears to have enough for the first down. Miami leading by eight points, three minutes, 50 seconds remaining in the game. First and 10 at the Florida State 35. Chris Hobbs slips. James Gilbert, the nose guard, wraps him up along with number 79, Gary Futch. Second down, just a little more than 10 yards to go. Mark Rush breaking through and picking up yardage inside the 20. Be sure to check your local listings when the games are announced sometime on Monday. They fake the end around. Kelly still has it. Under pressure, throwing it out of bounds and incomplete. And to attempt another field goal. This one will be a 36-yard attempt. As Greg LaBelle will put it down at the 26-yard line. Line drive shot. No good. Missed it to the left. Throwing the football, picking up 273 yards passing. And Greg Allen, the freshman tailback, who has the football and now gives it to Cedric Jones. Jones wants to throw the halfback pass. He's in trouble, and he'll be dropped back around the 10-yard line. The ball came loose, but they say he was down to the uh, quarterback. On second down, Stockstill, looking for someone open, throws it complete to Phil Williams, number 87, at the 24-yard line. And Florida State with two timeouts remaining now. They have the ball at their own 25. Stock still. Firing it over the middle, and it's complete. Coming out of the backfield, Ricky Williams, number 44. Lester Williams put a great pass rush on that time. He, he nailed Stock still just to the football. First and 10 from the 32. Stock still looking for the square out. Williams drops the football. The clock will stop. 
Stock still to pass once again. Flipping it out to Mike Whiting coming out of the backfield. Whiting cutting it upfield and gets across the 35 from the 37-yard line. Stock still looking to throw it out. It's complete for a first down at the 45-yard line of Florida, or rather of Miami, remaining in the football game. First and 10 from the 45 of Miami. Incomplete to stop the clock now with 30 seconds remaining. Second and 10 from the Miami 45. Stock still going for it all down the middle. Incomplete. Intended for Jesse Huster, number four, a freshman wide receiver. Miami has won more games here in Tallahassee against Florida State than Florida State has won against Miami here. It's complete to Tony Johnson over the middle. A gain of five to the 40-yard line. You got it. You got it down. Hit a 40-yard touchdown. Fourth and five. They need to pick up the first down to keep the football, and they do. Dennis McKinnon with a nice reception at the 30-yard line. Of Trying to figure out ways to stop the uh, other team. Miami leading 27 to 19. Nine seconds remaining. Florida State stock still throwing long and into the end zone. Incomplete and almost intercepted by number four, Rodney Bellinger. The, this may be the final play of the football game. From the 30-yard line, time has run out. Over the middle, stock still incomplete. Intended for Dennis McKinnon, and Freddie Marion was there once again, defending on the play for Miami. Time has run out, and the Hurricanes of Miami, who upset Penn State last week in the Orange Bowl, have come up here to Tallahassee and defeated Florida State 27 to 19 in an excellent football game. Stay with us because our doubleheader is continuing. Thank you.